prophecies foretell a clash of two profoundly mighty forces. This cataclysmic event occurs today. The TCP clan and the UDP clan each has chosen their most powerful knight. The battle is about to commence. find a weakness about the UDP night. Sire, your faithful spy has information concerning the weakness of the UDP knight. You wish him to send this information to you? Yes, I will send my own messenger to acknowledge this request. You, go! The TCP knight wishes to receive this information. Okay, um, tell him that we're sending it on. We're sending information about the UDP night. Great.
epic fight. Who knows what this world will now come to. Now let's explain what we tried to show. Here the TCP spy finds information about his opponent's weakness that he wants to send to the TCP knight, so he initiates a three-way handshake. A three-way handshake is needed to establish a connection between the TCP spy and the TCP knight. The TCP spy starts off by sending down a SYN packet, which lets the TCP knight know that he wishes to connect. The TCP knight also wishes to connect, so he responds with a SYN ACK packet. After getting the SYN ACK reply, the TCP spy replies with the final ACK packet. After this sequence takes place, they are connected and able to exchange information. The TCP protocol breaks up the message into several segments and numbers them in an orderly sequence. All of the packets are then sent down to the destination, in this case, TCP night. When the info arrives, it needs to be ordered to successfully read the message. Sometimes packets are lost in transit, resulting in the destination host sending back for the missing packets. Here, the UDP spy finds information on the TCP night's weakness. UDP is a connectionless protocol, so there is no three-way handshake needed. It simply sends the information down as fast as possible. This, however, can sometimes result in the message not getting there fully. In the end, both knights die because there is a flaw in their protocol, and neither knight was able to learn about the other's weakness. The TCP knight's protocol failed because it was too slow and had to send back for the missing packet, but he didn't have enough time. The UDP knight's protocol failed because despite the speed, the message in its entirety could not be understood well enough to get the information. Each protocol has pros and cons and should be chosen upon the user's needs. And remember, all senior citizens should have life alert.